Hey everybody, it is Wednesday, November 16th, 2022. Um, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. I'm driving home from the abominable, despicable city of Nashville, and I'm headed home. Um, it's a wonderful day. Today is day 16 of being straight to carnival. So, everything's been going great. I haven't gotten on the scale yet, but um, I haven't eaten anything that isn't strictly, 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 strictly carnivore. But I wanted to get on here and talk about something that happened today. And it's something that I've been waiting to happen. And that is, I got dizzy. Okay? I got dizzy today. And I've kind of been feeling a little dizzy for about the past three or four days now. I hate not having my little thing on the dashboard. Um, I've been feeling a little dizzy on occasion over the last couple of days. And <clears throat> I was like, is this it? Is this it? Well, today it full blown happened. I was in my office and I bent down to pick something up off the floor and I stood back up really quick. And oh, you know, I got all lightheaded and everything. I said, I wonder if this is it. I wonder because I'm on blood pressure medicine. So I'm wondering if now's the time that it might be time to come off of one of them. So um, I waited about 10 minutes, sat down and got my blood pressure cuff out. And the reading initially was 118 over 61. Now, my particular blood pressure cuff, I don't think is always entirely accurate because I can take it once and then literally immediately after it'll be something totally different. So the first time I did it, it was 118 over 71. The second time I did it very shortly after was 102 over 70. Either way, either one of those, my blood pressure in my estimation is officially low so i don't really feel like i've lost a whole lot of weight in the month of november i, I maybe not have lost any at all um because i don't feel any smaller i don't feel like i look any smaller but i hate this damn phone um i've had a couple of instances like i said over the last couple of days where you know i felt a little hey what's going on here and didn't happen today so then i took my blood pressure um, and it was those levels so i'm on two different blood pressure medicines now um i'm going to take it again tonight probably i don't know before i go to bed or something like that and then do it a couple more times tomorrow i've got an appointment with my doctor this coming friday which is two days from now and to talk about cholesterol. So the last time I went to him, my LDL was high, my total cholesterol was high, um, HDL was in great shape, triglycerides were in great shape, uh, but he wasn't happy with my total cholesterol, which was 284, and he wasn't happy with my LDL, which was 218. He prescribed a statin for me, and I haven't started taking the statin yet. So I sent him a message over the weekend and said, hey doctor, I would like to take a cholesterol fractionation test. And so I said, can I, you know, line that up through you guys? Can I, you know, how do I go about requesting that? So he said, uh, why do you want to take a cholesterol fractionation test? God bless what is wrong with this stupid internet. Internet, interstate. Uh, he said, why do you want to take a cholesterol fractionation test? And I said, well, I would like to know more. I said, I don't think that high LDL cholesterol just by itself is anything to worry about. I would like to know if I have the dense, smaller LDL particles or the larger, live, fluffy, good LDL particles. Uh, the last time I had a calcium test was in April or May of this year, and it was perfect. It was totally perfect. 
and this was when I was overweight. I, I weighed about 215 at the time. Um, I'm not. I'm now down to the high 190s right now. Um, but the last time I had a calcium test was was perfect. I can't imagine that it's gotten any worse since then, but I do want to check that. So I told my doctor, you know, this message that I sent back to him, I said, you know, if I want to check the, the cholesterol fractionation, because if there isn't really any or very many smaller, dense, bad LDL particles in this, in my cholesterol, I want to know why having high LDL levels are harmful if that's the case. If I don't have calcium or plaque buildup in my arteries, which my last calcium scan showed that I didn't, and if I don't have a lot of or any smaller dense LDL particles, I don't want to be on a statin. And so I told him that and he said, well, you know, you really need to be on a statin. He said, I'm on a statin right now and my cholesterol is worse than yours is. And I said, I appreciate your concern. Um, I have questions and I want to talk to you about it. Now this is yesterday. So immediately when I got done messaging back and forth with him, um, I set up an appointment for this Friday. And then so then uh, he messaged me back. He said, okay, we'll talk about it, you know. Um, so it'll be a, a fasting visit where I'll have to be fasted and he'll, they'll redo my lipid panel and I undoubtedly will come back with high LDL. But I want to know, I think it would be probably not wise to not have a, a cholesterol fractionation test. Um, I, I don't, I wouldn't leave that to chance. And you know, if I've got a lot of smaller density, um, you know, LDL particles that are, are the bad kind that collect in your bloodstream, yeah, I'll get on the statin for a little bit. If it's not like that at all, it's not happening. So, my, and so then my doctor sent me this other message. Well, the data suggests that uh, whether or not you have fractionation going on, that you should be on a statin. And I'm like, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Um, so there's going to be some answers to some questions that I have before I feel comfortable getting on another statin. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to get my blood work done again on um, on Friday. So also, the last time I had my blood work done, my HDL was 49, which on that is said that that should be above 40, so that's good. Hopefully it's done nothing but go up since then because I haven't changed my diet at all. I'm still doing the carnivore diet. And my triglycerides, which they want you to be under 150, were at 87. So I'd be willing to bet those have gone down in the month that I've last got my blood work done in. So we'll see how everything goes, but I'm, I don't just want to, I don't just want to get on a statin because my doctor told me to. I, it, I think that the lipid panel that they do on the standard cholesterol test is antiquated. I, I don't think it gives you everything you need to know. I think that there's people walking around with high cholesterol levels, high LDL levels, and are just healthy. Um, and I think I'm gonna find out that I'm one of those people. So, cholesterol fractionation test done is gonna, cholesterol fractionation test will be done um, I don't think he knows whether or not they do that in his office. I'm gonna find out um, on Friday when I go in. So keep your fingers crossed for me. I'm getting that test done and uh, um, you know, I, I'm gonna hope and pray that I don't have the, the bad cholesterol that um, oxidizes in your, in your bloodstream, turns into plaque and can back up and kill you. Um, but anyway, that's it. So I'm just, I just wanted to get on here today and give a little brief update. Um, I'm still feeling fantastic. I'm still doing my exercises every day. Um, but I'm buckling down on this cholesterol issue with my doctor. And I don't really think he's used to people doing that with him. Um, 
I think he's just really used to people, well, you need to be on the statin. Okay, I'm gonna get on the statin. And I, I don't know if he really gets bucked up against um, a whole lot. I think a lot of his patients, at least every time I go into his office, um, he has a lot of older patients. And I'm, not, I'm no spring chicken, but I'm only 50 years old. And a lot of the people that go in there, they're, you know, up in their late 60s and early 70s. So I imagine he doesn't get a whole lot of pushback from his patients. Uh, because they probably believe the same thing that he's been told, you know, forever. You know, old research, old, old news. Butter's going to kill you. Oh, if you eat all that meat, it's going to rot in your colon and it's going to give you cancer. And, you know, all this stuff. And I don't believe any of that stuff. I, I think it's all been debunked. I think there's a ton of people out there who don't want the fact that it's been debunked to get out. But I think that's totally been debunked. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, that's it. It is third today's wednesday wednesday november 16th 2022 um day 16 of strict carnivore oh one other thing i did really really well we had some people coming in with the uh, management company that i work for with my hotel and we all went out to lunch today to celebrate um somebody retiring uh we went to a pizza spot that's very close to the hotel where i work um and I was like, come on, pizza, really? Who who decided we were going to have pizza today? But somebody did. and um, But they had meatballs there as a side order. And I said, give me the meatballs uh, with no marinara sauce. But I did eat some cheese in it. But that's fine. That's carnivore. Um, so I ate four big meatballs for lunch with nothing but cheese. Uh, and I resisted the pizza and everything was good. I am very dedicated to doing November totally straight carnivore. Um, my in-laws who love all the starches and the potatoes and the corn and all that stuff and they're like what are you going to do on Thanksgiving you know because we'll all be at their house on Thanksgiving what are you going to do on Thanksgiving well I'm going to bring over a steak is what I'm going to do I'm not eating I don't care if it's Thanksgiving I'm committed to this month I've never gone an entire month without at least cheating once and by God it's happening this month so anyway just want to give you all a little, uh, little, little good news there. My willpower and determination won over today. So, anyway, I hope everybody's doing great. Um, wish me luck on my blood work on Friday, and uh, we'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks a ton.